Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today I have a pretty large Dollar Tree haul, which is actually surprising because I spent the entire week basically decluttering my entire house and I got rid of so many things. And then I just came back home with all of these amazing things from Dollar Tree but that's the life of a crafter, what can I say? So before I get into it, let me show you the crafts that I made this week in case you weren't notified. I did do wedding crafts, so I did part one, which was a wedding seating chart, part two, which was a welcome sign, and then part three, and that was a centerpiece, table numbers, and a little table decor. So I'll leave the link below if you're interested in watching that. If not, it's okay. Can't wait to show you all of the cool things that I found. And today it's like a big mix of a lot of stuff. I want to start off by saying thank you to the few people that suggested using the diaper disposal bags. I kept passing by these and never really paid attention to the fact that these are bags. So I think these are going to be a lot better than the doggy bags that I was using because you don't have to break them apart. So thank you. These do bring 60, so it's a little less, but if all 60 of them can pick up the poo, then I think this is definitely worth it. And I actually ended up putting my old diaper genie from Aria, um, from Aria, my old diaper genie outside so that whenever I do pick up poop, I just stuff it in there. So if you have an old diaper genie and you have a doggy, then go ahead and use it for that. So that was item number one. Item number two, which I was really happy to see back in stock, are the puzzles that have the wood backing. So you have to be really careful because some of them do have like this beige thing going on and it kind of looks like wood, but it's not. So you really have to like get in there and kind of do one of these. For me, it's pretty apparent, but sometimes they do put sheets above them. So it is regular paper up front and then the pieces inside are wood and the back is wood. I did make a tray during one of my boho videos using two of these, and these are a pretty nice size. They are a lot bigger than the cutting boards, which the cutting boards are very, very hard to find. For those people who are trying to make my truck, I don't have the exact dimensions of the cutting board, to be honest with you, because the truck isn't here. But make it as long and as wide as you'd like it doesn't have to be the size of the cutting board. Trust me, that piece can be any size. So I've seen a lot of questions and I always say I'm gonna get back to you, but I just don't have any more cutting boards or the actual truck here. But as long as you can get like some Jenga piece or like a piece of wood that resembles the front of the truck, you're fine. So yes, I got four of these and oh no, one of them is broken. Oh no, but that's okay. We're still gonna use it. We got this. The next thing that I was really, 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 really excited to see were these little thankful, thankful and gather signs. Now these aren't the famous all wood signs that Dollar Tree has. I don't know what those say in front. I just know that they're all black. These are the same as the wall art plaques where they're not actual wood. But I think that you can get some uses out of this. It is hollow on the inside and has that little hangy thing. Yes, I bought a ton of these. I still don't know what I'm gonna make. But just as is, I think it's really pretty decor. I love that it has the buffalo check on there. It definitely fits the theme that I had going on last year for Thanksgiving in my home, even though I did a ton of Thanksgiving videos. Don't think I'm quite ready yet to start Thanksgiving crafting. But of course, if you don't get these things now, then they disappear quickly. So that brings me to item number three, which are the little ceramic pumpkins. I love these. These go really, really quickly. And these are so pretty. Usually Target has very similar ones for $3. So if you can get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree, go for it. If not, then after the season, when Target does their big sale, you can get these super duper cheap if they have them left over and you're not picky on colors. So I got the white ones because they're easier to kind of make over, but they do have the ones that they had last year, which were green and orange. These font stickers come in so handy for so many crafts. I just love the font that they used and how big they are. Everybody has been using them and for a good reason because they are really, really nice. I don't like the one that's just like the basic, I don't even know what font to call it. 
I mean, if you're doing a project in school, go ahead, use those. But these just look really fancy, really nice. So I'm trying to figure out how I can use them to dupe something that I've had in mind recently. Um, don't know when that video is coming out. I do have the salt dough video coming up. I have not forgotten. People have requested for me to do the little salt dough ornaments and salt dough starfish, which I did in my last wedding video. I didn't show how I made the starfish, but I'll put a really quick video out for that. It's super duper easy. I found more of the Armor All Essential blends. Somebody told me that these were horrible and I went ahead and believed it and I kind of just never opened it. And then my husband found them, opened it, and instead of putting it in his car, he put it in our AC vent where our dogs sleep, like their little room, and it smells so good. So I actually bought more to put in like our bathroom vents and in the vents that go in the closets and sometimes they get a little muggy. When I lived in my last place, I used to take the Dollar Tree dryer sheets and put those in the vents, but I'm kind of scared that it might get sucked in, so I think this is probably a safer bet. In the summer, they put out a ton of barbecue stuff and a ton of things to clean your car, so this time around, I found a car wheel brush. I love the handle of this. I feel like you can use the handle for something else, but I actually did buy it for my car. This isn't gonna fall apart on you, the whole thing just feels really nice. Um, you can craft with this, but I really did just buy it to clean my car. And also to clean Aria's house. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. We are making over a house that I found on Facebook Market, and I plan on turning it into something amazing. I do plan on putting a video out on it, but right now we're kind of just like pressure washing it and cleaning it, picking out colors. It's this whole thing. So I can't wait to finish it and to see how it's gonna look. I have so many ideas for it. But yeah, this little thingy, if you have a dirty, dirty car, this comes in handy. These things are back at Dollar Tree. Now, if you've been with me for a long time, then you know that way, way back, I did this video on a giant crate shelf and it took off. And I made a crate bathroom thing and a closet and a ton of other stuff and then a ton of other creators ended up doing the same thing but that video got me on creator on the rise on the trending page and a bunch of other stuff so I'm very very grateful for crate so when I saw this in stores I laughed these aren't the same ones that I used back then I will say that these are a soft plastic so I saw a ton of people recreate that bench that I made using these and oh no, this is really soft. So if you try and stand or sit on this, it's gonna cave and this is just gonna look really funky. Look how easy it is for me to bend this. I do have one of the original ones that I used back in the day and this is what Dollar Tree used to have. This one is a lot sturdier. It is a harder plastic, it does have a solid back so if you do stand on this it's not going to cave i mean it is going to cave trust me it's plastic but not as easily as this so if you do plan on recreating stuff and you're going to buy the walmart ones keep in mind that this is a much softer plastic if you are using this for organizational stuff then this is perfect because it has these little things right here where you can attach them together i'm trying to find another one um and kind of just click them in place. So they are a lot easier to work with with this. This I glued together and I um, zip tied together to keep them in place. This is a lot easier, but it's not as sturdy. And I just wanted to show y'all the difference. But uh, yeah. The craft section is adding a lot of my old favorites. And this time I got the fastener dots. So they're little dots that just basically are pieces of velcro comes in super handy if you're making a little clutch from scratch or whatever you want little trapper keepers if anybody remembers trapper keepers and lisa frank girl you remember that <laughs> sound it would make every time you'd go to open up your trapper keeper this i used to make a little beach bag years ago where i painted palm fronds on it i used it just to keep it together and it worked beautifully they are a lot smaller than the ones I had before, at least maybe I'm imagining it that way, but still for a dollar, super duper worth it. In the tool section, I found this inspection mirror, which just looks like the mirrors that you use on your teeth. I don't know why I bought this. 
I don't know if I bought it so that if something falls in the sink, I can see down there. I don't know if I bought it so that I can see in the back of my mouth. Usually I have a reason to buy things, either because I'm crafting or something, but there's something about this that just... In the craft section, I found this multi-purpose adhes adhesive spray. I have the Giant Elmer's adhesive spray, which is amazing, but I thought this would be maybe a dupe for it, which would be great. And I'm wondering how it would work because the Elmer's one actually is pretty even when you spray it on stuff. And I thought maybe the Elmer's one could be used on old Cricut mats that no longer get sticky. So maybe this would work. I'm not suggesting that just yet because I don't know the consistency of this, but the Elmer's one, definitely. I still have a stencil that I stuck that on that till this day you touch it and it sticks. So if you do have an old Cricut mat that's lost its stickiness, stickability, that's not a word, uh, the Elmer's adhesive spray will work. Hopefully this does too. If not, then it's still a really good buy because you can always use this for a quick project that you don't have time to like brush Mod Podge on, hopefully. In the book section, I found these really cool coloring books. This is my second Day of the Dead coloring book. I love this one so much more because it's so much more detailed than the last. And like I said, these are really relaxing for me when I'm not filming them. I tried filming myself painting these, no. But when I'm not filming, super duper relaxing, especially if you are on a plane or something where you just don't wanna pay attention to what's going on, these things. And then I found a Red Queen one. And this one looks interesting. It's got a whole lot of details, a whole lot of things going on. Since I was doing wedding stuff in the picture frame aisle, they had this little love trinket thing. This is something that I've hauled before, but sadly I dropped and broke. So I purchased it again. I would probably use it for um, either a wedding craft or a Valentine's craft. There we go. Which the way these holidays are set up at Dollar Tree might be in a month. Another gadget which I thought was super duper cool and useful, this one I totally had a reason to buy, is the stainless steel folding scissors. I like to keep a first aid kit in my car. You never know what can come up. You never know if you have to like cut your shirt up and stop someone's wound. You just never know. So I love the fact that this folds up and fits easily in a bag. Since it's folded, there's no blade that could possibly hurt you or anybody that's reaching into your first aid bag. Even if it's not for your car, for your home, this is really convenient. Uh, durable chrome plated handles, portable and compact, great for travel. Another good thing, if you are traveling, you don't have to worry about it stabbing you if you're gonna go reach into your makeup bag and there it is. Scissors come in handy. I have like 50 pairs and I lose all of them all at once when I need them. I got this shower cap. It says high quality, waterproof, mold resistant, elastic hem. Dollar Tree shower caps are a hit or miss. They're either really, really amazing and you wanna take it everywhere with you or they make you feel like you have the biggest head in the world because they're teeny tiny and come up to about here. Now, this one, huh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I think this one is, yes, it's a normal size. I am so happy. Okay, first of all, I do not wash my hair every day. I cannot. I have really curly hair and if I try that, then I will have straw. So, if I wet it in the shower when it's not hair wash day, then I'm gonna end up looking crazy. So I do have to put my little thing on while I scrub my face and do my thing. And when they're way too short and they're over here, then that looks crazy. This is a really good look. This should be my thumbnail, but it's not, it's not gonna be. So, oh no. So yes, yes, yes. If you are looking for a good one of these, the one with the little lady on it. This is so, yes. And then the last thing, I promise, were these little thingies. They're like little wall art plaques and they have, our nest is best, very farmhouse. It's the little things in life. I like this one a whole lot better, but it's nice, it's sturdy. It is the sturdiest 
of the plaques that they have and it's got this cute little thing so if you want to hang your keys or whatever you may want to hang it is amazing this is screwed on so you can always screw this off if you want to use that for something else and just I love them so much okay so let me show you some of the stuff I saw in stores that was amazing but I didn't need these little luggage tags are so cute and if you've noticed they have the same designs on the little keychains and a ton of wall art so to put all of these things together for a gift would be so cute they also have really pretty wall art plaques i love this little hippie van one and this good night one for a kid's room the kitchen towels are getting so cute but i already have so many but look how adorable okay so that is it for me i really hope that you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what you'll be on the lookout for and as usual thank you so so much for hanging out with me i appreciate y'all so so much and i will hopefully see you on the next one